a time, in a fictional town named Verona, two powerful families existed. These families, Montague and Capulet, hated each other so much that they couldn't pass each other in the street without starting a fight. Romeo, the son of Montague, has failed in his endeavors for love, and Juliet the daughter of Capulet, is betrothed to a nobleman named Paris, whom she does not even know. Romeo's cousin, Benvolio, learns that the Capulets are going to throw a feast, and asks Romeo and his friend, Mercutio, to attend this feast to forget his unfruitful love life. At night, the group sneak into the feast. There, Romeo and Juliet's eyes meet from a distance, and the flames of love instantly envelop both their hearts. Drawn to each other by instinct, they kiss in a corner, without even knowing each other's names. Alas, love knows no boundaries, and it had come at the worst place and time. Romeo and Juliet only learn of each other's true identity after Romeo and his company are thrown out by Tybalt, Juliet's cousin. Knowing that theirs is a forbidden love, Romeo asks his friend, Friar Lawrence, to marry them in secret. Friar Lawrence agrees, thinking that the blossoming bud of pure love between the two youngsters will help cease the feuds between the two families. The next day, Romeo and Juliet officially become man and wife. However, destiny is cruel. The couple's reunion is cut short when Tybalt challenges Romeo to a duel. Romeo does not wish to duel a family member, but he can't tell anyone about his marriage to Juliet. When he refuses to fight, Mercutio, his friend, decides to duel Tybalt in his stead. When Tybalt's blade cuts into Mercutio's chest, rage blinds Romeo, and unable to see reason, he kills Tybalt and is banished from Verona forever for his crime. Romeo and Juliet's love comes to a premature end when Romeo visits Juliet's room at night to bid farewell. The flames of love, still burning afresh, consume Juliet's heart. Destiny's cruel dagger stabs her chest one more time when Juliet's father decides to marry her off to Paris in just a few days. Juliet begs Friar Lawrence for help, but nothing can free Juliet of her filial duties, except the cold clutch of death, but perhaps even death can be cheated. Juliet drinks a potion that will make her seem like she's dead, and once she's entombed, Romeo will come and retrieve her so the two can flee Verona. However, life rarely plays a fair game, the friar's message never reaches Romeo, and he only learns that Juliet is dead. He quickly rides back to Verona to visit Juliet's tomb, with a vial of poison in his pocket. What good is life without the sweet embrace of a lover? If Romeo couldn't be with Juliet in life, then maybe he will be in death. He takes his own life by drinking the poison, and once Juliet awakens, she realizes that her lover has taken his own life. Engulfed by anguish, she stabs her own chest with Romeo's dagger. However, their death is not in vain, as Friar Lawrence's wish comes true. The two families finally decided to end their feud, and raise gold statues of their children side by side to honor their memories.